Welcome back. Crypto, as you know, has been doing a fantastic job to close in the year of 2023. So we're up for October, November, and December. Some cryptos a little bit less, some cryptos a little bit more. But I'm here to talk about Binance Coin because contrary to belief, this is a crypto that's doing very, very well and holding up to these turbulent times. We had a really big sell-off yesterday. And so I love to look at the crypto markets and I love to see which crypto is not getting sold off and getting a lot of support. And Binance has been on my chart for quite some time. It's been on my short list of cryptos to look at. Thought I'd share this video, talk about some stop losses, how it's gone compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin and also where I see it going. So if I sound of that, consider subscribing. And if you're a fan of altcoin reviews, that's what I do on this channel. So let's get started with the Binance. This is against its USDT. Now let's have a quick look at total market cap one, two, and three. If we have a look at total market cap one, we can see they're all going to have similar candles here. So total market cap one, two, and three. So they're going to have a candle like this. We can see a wick going down in the bottom, which means that there was a lot of selling pressure coming into the market. Now support did come into the market to push this back up. Hence it closed in the middle of the candle, which is a good, uh, which is a good close. The problem is that we still need more of a test. We still need more supply to come to the market. So expect more selling to come into the crypto market and we'd have to see if support comes or not. But we've just had so many weeks up at the moment, about 13 weeks to be exact, roughly, of just going basically down from you know November up to this you know basically steep curve here or steep chart here showing that this thing was just put on a rip. So naturally you're gonna get a pullback, you're gonna get a test of supply and we have to see what the whales say, okay, this is a good buy. So at the moment, it seems that the low for this one was 1.5 trillion. If we have a look at total market cap two, you can see something very similar. Support found on the seven billion mark and then again total market cap three you can see support coming at the 452 billion mark there it is so support did come to the market but like i said i do expect more supply to get thrown to the market so expect more of a downtrend to continue but we have to see just how far down it goes we need high volume good support coming and then we'll be ready for the next leg up but we have to wait and see. So the reason why Binance is doing good is we, I've just shown you total market cap one, two, and three. They all look similar to this candle. So that's your benchmark. If a candle looks better than this, we have a winner and BNB is doing it. So you can see, there it is. Now BNB was actually going up for the day, but then the self came, came low. So it got pushed back up and we actually closed reasonably well. And this might look a little bit easier if I put it onto a four hour chart and you can see we're going up. There it is on this one, on this chart here at about seven o'clock Australian time, West uh, on the Wednesday, you can see up thrust happening. So we can see it was momentum trying to pick itself up, trying to push for higher prices, attempted sell-off came, huge, huge selling, massive volume coming in, and then a lot of support closing up immediately high on the chart, which is showing a lot of strength in this crypto. Even if we have a look at say BTC, BTC didn't even do that. So if we have a look at, so if we have a look at BTC, there's the BTC candle for yesterday. You can see it actually closed relatively low, which isn't good. Hence why I said to you that I do expect more supply to get tested, but BNB closing right at the top. Again, it is doing a fantastic job of holding its ground at that 50%, which is at around $290. So doing a fantastic job of holding up at the moment and for now we're up actually around 75 basis points for the day if we have a look at the binance dominance chart if we have a look at the binance dominant chart this chart basically tells you how much of the total uh, portfolio of the entire crypto market is made up of just bnb and you can see bnb uptrend happening this is momentum carrying now you got your first up second up third fourth and a fifth one coming now so this is showing that it's gearing up there's a lot of areas of resistance being broken so there's resistance one and now this is resistance two pullback ready for the next higher high. So I do expect BNB to perform very well. Guys, the FUD for BNB is over. It's time for good higher prices now. The BNB will be much more compliant nowadays. It's still the biggest exchange. It still is gonna be a very sought after exchange to be traded on. If we have a look at BNB against its Ethereum value, you can still see that BNB is doing a fantastic job of outperforming even Ethereum. And if we have a look at BNB against its BTC value, you can see again, breaking through resistance one, two, three, sharp pullback, ready for the next one, finding support previously on that 0 0.0074 of a BTC. Now, let's have a look back at the BNB against its USD teach pairing. Where, I, where do I know, where would my stop loss be or where do I not want to see BNB going? I don't want to see it breaking 290, but I'd like to leave a little bit of a buffer and that really comes into about 283. If 283 comes out exiting position, we don't want to see it breaking down much more than that. Where do I want to see it going or where do I see it going? Well, we definitely have the 75 mark coming in on the retracement at around $344 and that does go and coincide with some swings, swing tops here from back in March last year, April, yeah, basically basically March and April of last year. If we do break those, we definitely will be testing the high of around basically $400, call it. And that would coincide with the swing top of November, 2022. That's how much BNB has been slammed, but you can see it's been doing a fantastic job of not going down to the low that it had when the CZ uh, did actually end up resigning and the whole news kerfuffle was out. You can see this massive volume coming into the market. And so we haven't even had to come back to test it too many times at $225, again, confirming its strength. So all you need to know is BNB is looking fantastic at the moment it is holding up but i do expect the entire crypto market to have a bit of a sell-off but it'd be interesting to see where bnb goes because theoretically people like to or the whales like to buy exchange tokens 
even if it's BNB, they will still like to buy it if they see it safe. And you can see the uptrend that's been happening, indicating that the, that the whales are having confidence in this thing. It's been going up. FTX did not do this. It kept going down until eventually went down to below a dollar. This is not happening with Binance. This is not the same thing. There is clearly confidence in this market at the moment, but for the time being, we'll have to wait and see where BNB goes, given the state of the entire crypto market. Because like I said, we are expecting a bit of a sell-off, but an exchange token or currency should be well sought after at times of turbulence. This is a defensive asset in crypto standards, uh, but we'll have to wait and see because this thing has been on a lagging behind a lot of other markets for the time being. But I digress, it's a very strong crypto and we'll have to wait and see. But until then everyone, I'll catch you tomorrow for another altcoin review. If you've enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing, but I'll catch you on the next video.